Hello and welcome to The Big Fight. This was another week when Pakistan was back in the headlines here in India. And unfortunately, as almost invariably happens, when Pakistan is in the headlines, it's almost invariably for a negative reason or the other. In this case, the killing of five Indian soldiers. And then, of course, there was a considerable political up and back and forth on the exact statements and what happened and what didn't happen. But here on The Big Fight, we're also going to try and look ahead a little bit. Where do we get to from here? Every time there's an attack, every time something happens, we all sit down and saying, how should India deal with Pakistan? Are we anywhere closer to getting a concrete answer to that question? And specifically, of course, we will turn our attention to one issue that is on the top of everyone's minds. Should the talks proceed? Is Nawaz Sharif himself serious about peace? And therefore, is it worth talking to him or is it not? And joining us to help take us through some of these issues, a range of voices, Tarun Vijay, National Spokesperson of the BJP, great to have you with us. And joining us from Bangalore, uh, Rajiv Gaudau, the Spokesperson of the Congress Party, thank you both very much for being with us. Major General Ravi Arora, who's uh, served in Kashmir, so has, a, has a, a very strong perspective from out there. Dr. Brahma Chelani, Professor of Strategic Studies at the Center for Policy Research, it's always a, a privilege, uh, Brahma, to have you uh, with us here, as indeed KC Singh. Uh, former Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs. So uh, you've also been done a lot of work on counterterrorism, obviously. So great to have you with us. Because Joining us from Lahore, Admiral Javed Iqbal, uh, former ambassador, he's a defense analyst. And a short while from now, Vice Air Marshal Shahzad Chaudhary is also going to be joining us on the program. Admiral Iqbal, why don't I actually start, start with you? Um, and I said that here in India, every time Pakistan seems to be hitting the headlines, it's almost invariably for a negative reason. Is there any hope that at some point in the future that is going to change? Or is Pakistan always going to be uh, you know, an, an, a source of, of, of problems, of tension, of killing? No, I, I think I would like to ask this question from you. Because this is a usual pattern. Uh, I mean, whenever there is going to be some betterment in relationship, when there is a hope that somebody will talk seriously, when there is a chance that the two prime ministers will meet, then uh, BJP and like-minded um, people, you see, they create such, such a shamozal that they, it, it appears India does not want peace with uh, Pakistan. Sir, can because, I ask you, was uh, it the you know, BJP which killed five Indian soldiers in Kashmir? So if there's a shamozal, as you put it, it was after the killing or the murder of five Indian soldiers uh, you know, in Indian territory. So it's not exactly that the BJP cooked that up. No, no, look, you see, uh, now we must talk seriously and we not uh, you know bring these things like this I we are in serious, pakistan sir. in in pakistan on, we are ourselves victim of terrorism we don't uh, how can we indulge into it and uh, talking of five you know india 186 violation you know by india and uh, in in july alone over 28 and then you must understand that in 2003 we agreed on a mechanism where military authorities would talk and are talking and are in touch with each other. And then why bring it on road? Today, the Dosti bus has been stopped. I mean, this, I mean, is, this not is not the a bus, good neighborly this is simply attitude. atrocious to listen to Mr. Iqbal talking in this term. I mean, what BJP did? BJP gave Pakistan a chance to send four beheaded soldiers of India and there were some uh, uh, angels or BJP people right across the border in Pakistan who did it. And then the BJP sent those 20 people who ambushed our soldiers and killed our five soldiers. And then to give a Pakistan a bad name. I mean, you this is horrendous proof? that uh, have you, the way this gentleman is those speaking people? and uh, background is uh, uh, Minare Pakistan. He should be standing in uh, front of Minare lies, Minare Jhoot. Well, jute and such, I think probably uh, everybody, the whole world knows. Does even, he know what even he's America talking about? Even America has endorsed. Even America has endorsed that. You see, that, well, what has the American said? You see, your, your uh, close buddy, what, they, what have they said on these? They, have, they know that this is a usual pattern. Whenever there is an improvement or the likely improvement, then the people, the extremists from the Indian side, what is BGP? You have your own terrorist hang camp. Hang on, hang on. Why are, sir, you, sir, can I, can I just interrupt you? You terrorist camp. I'm not Bombay wrong. was then done All by, Bombay was done by you. Who was Ajmal Kassab? Bombay was done by you, the BGP. Uh, 
look, okay. you see, that's yeah. not, now that's, we are talking sir, on this with issue. The we are talking on this no, issue. Sir, Vikram, you, you, have you, have you bring one. such Pakistani guests on this show and then you expect us to discuss Indo-Pakistan relations. Okay. Thank can you I, very much. Can, can I, can I, can I, can I just ask well, you a simple question? Yes, is it possible that when there's a possibility of talks, are extremists trying to subvert those talks? Is that a possibility? I think on the, on yes. the either side. I well, think on the either perhaps, side. Perhaps, but I think you should be very clear, sir, that in this case, if it happened, you better figure out which side the extremists are on who might be trying to disturb. Let's start off with that. I may be prepared to, we maybe I'll be prepared to argue and discuss whether it is possible that extremists on the Pakistani side were trying to disrupt the Nawaz Sharif <clears throat> and Mohan Singh debates and talks. That's a possibility. But to say that the BJP is trying to deliberately kill five Indian soldiers to disrupt the talks, I think that's really stretching it. Don't Peggy Moore, no, no, he's a joker. Don't words. waste your time here. No, no, no. You that, don't put that, your words. I say, May I? Sir, sir. I, I say that agreement from both sides, they are not, you know, giving peace a chance. I can assure you that it is in the interest of both the nation and there are serious people here who want peace. All right, but fine. the extremists from both sides.